CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Good morning to you and welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. You probably know this is Black History Month, but in the next half hour, you are going to meet some people making a difference. You may not know about these folks because we consider them unsung heroes of the African-American community. So let's get started. There are more than a million families in Metro Atlanta living in poverty, but one woman is determined to change that. She says even one homeless family is one family too many. Her story and her attitude will touch you. Have a look. It feel like the whole world gave up on me. When my grandma left, my grandma left here, it was like the world gave up. I ain't know which way to go, which way to turn, what to do, where to get help from. I didn't know. But Ms. S. Lane knew she knew her organization could help. Poverty is a cancer. Cancer kills, it destroys, it eats. It destroys our economy. It destroys our neighborhood. It destroys everything. Long before Ms. Esleen Richmond Shockley could help LaToya, she had to create that organization, the one that would become her passion. While I was working at church, I understand my calling in life was service, service to the people. And out of that revelation, the Georgia-based nonprofit Caring for Others, Inc., was born. You know, we said it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village for us to keep our communities together. LaToya agrees. She says even at the height of her despair, she was determined to keep her family together. We stand with you. If we got to sleep in this car, Mom, we stand with you. God say be patient. But I didn't have no break until I met her. You have to understand one thing. We all are one paycheck away from becoming Homeless. There are two main tracks at Caring for Others. One track helps people get back on their feet, providing items like food assistance, clothing, utility assistance, even educational assistance. Anything you would need to restart your life. The second deals with shopping at Caremart. It's a community store where they could come and purchase something that you cannot ordinarily purchase at a, a, a major retail. You're able to get it here at a very low discount. Everything you see here in Caremart goes back into the organization 100%. Even the volunteers work for free. This, well, it is a calling. You cannot run away from your calling. She says if she had to do it all over again, she would ask God for more strength. She is tired but positive when she remembers people like LaToya. As the days goes on, I feel myself, you know, getting weary at times, but you can get weary in well-doing. There is someone to help you. Even when you think it's nobody, there's someone. God will send that angel, and they will help you. Helping people indeed. You know, we are going to continue to salute unsung heroes of Atlanta's African-American community during this Black History Month. We meet someone who, well, they've had, they're making a difference from an early age. And Vin Sims will tell us about Aaliyah Rucker. Aaliyah Rucker may be small, but she has a heart as big as the crate she carries full of blankets. All together, I have personally handed out 5,000 blankets. She's the founder and CEO of A Touch of Warmth. It's a 501c3 not-for-profit organization she created. It is called A Touch of Warmth, and I collect and distribute brand new fleece blankets to homeless shelters, cancer centers, and people on the streets. It all started when she was just four years old. Her mom was cleaning out a closet and giving away old stuff. They had a long talk about people that are less fortunate and in need of those items. I saw so many people on the streets every day um, in Atlanta, and I was like, this is so sad. Like, everybody should have a blanket or a house or something. So, a blanket just stuck with me. <laughs> it's a lesson she never forgot. I kind of want to help them with a little comfort and warmth and let them know that somebody cares about them enough to give them a blanket. Today she's making a donation to the City of Refuge Shelter in Atlanta. It's very encouraging to see someone so young who recognizes that life is more than just providing for yourself, uh, but providing for others. The housing director says the blankets are very important to their residents. He sees a bright future for Leah that will help a lot of people. If she puts forth the same amount of effort that she's putting now, then many lives will be changed, uh, including her own. And that's exactly what Leah is hoping for. I am hoping to see it grow as far as the eye can see. 
um, maybe even farther. Mm, out of the mouths of babes. So if you'd like to help out Aaliyah, this is on her nonprofit's website. It's at the bottom of your screen. It's called a touch of warmth dot org. Of course, when we come back, you definitely want to be here. A lucky group of middle schoolers gets by with a little help from some mentors. Stay with us.